Shaka Kanaka Honey Solo Day. I'm already drunking from, I'm already lit. So if the candles are not just lit around here. Mikey is too. Cheers. Yay, Nakayam. All right. Lakayim. Welcome to the fifth night of the Hanukkah game show. The game show where we have a lot of fun, a lot of Hanukkah cocktails, some Hanukkah trivia, and some prizes. Yay, prizes. Prizes are fabulous. I do want to make a warning here that if you have some uh, children in the room, I am going to curse like a drunken Jewish sailor and uh, you better get them out. So here's your warning. Three, two, one. Fuck! So we knew that instantly, and that's scary <laughs> on that one. That's so, why we're twins. That's why we're twins, baby. So uh, we're going to lead in here to my twin. This is my guest for this evening, Mr. Michael B. Moore. Hello, face of whoever's watching this. What's going on? Everybody. Hi, everybody. everybody out there in the internet world. Internet land. So give us a, Michael is a hairstylist uh, and wig designer um, over at Element Salon. I'd like to give him a little introduce introduction to himself and we'll shout Hello. out. Hello, my name is Michael B. Moore. As he said, I am a wig, uh, hair, hair stylist at Element Salon, <laughs> Preston in Frankfurt, 972-964-7895. We'll put it down at the bottom. <laughs> yes. It's, it, yeah. Just, <laughs> people love us. It says, <clears throat> that I always do on TV. Um, I also do wigs and makeup for the theater. I'm an um, associate wig designer at uh, Uptown Players. I do things for your husband's school now. Yes. Um, and You makeup, just admitted to everyone that I'm gay. Thanks a lot. Have they not watch the first four <laughs> nights of this? Helen Keller knows. It's I mean, okay. Yeah, it's okay. very accurate. So yeah, come see me at the salon. I'll make you prettier. Fabulous. And now here's the real question. What do you know about Hanukkah other than being my friend? Absolutely nothing. You get presents and you like candles and there's a lot of food and yeah, that's pretty much about right. And you drink. And you do well. And and then we yell the family yells at each other. Yeah, there's very loud and there's very strange words that I don't know. Yo, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of dysfunction Is going that on. Lachayim. We definitely know this. Here's some words. I have mashuga, which means crazy. I have oive. Which means, oh shit, right? So we've got some quiz for you. All right, we got the cards. We are actually, oh my gosh, Mikey, don't look at these. Oh, that's right. So we are going to play Password. So this is a game where Michael is actually going to give me one word and I have to guess the word on the card, but you can't say the word on the card. So you say a word, then I'll guess it. And if it's wrong, you give me another word. Does that make sense? No, say it again. Okay. So like if the word is say penis, pe penis, penis, I would say boy, girl. Ah, oh, nine genitals, penis. There you go. Penis. You got it. There you Sing go. It again. Penis. Or um, as we say okay. here, schmeckle. All right. Schmeckle. So you're gonna go here, and we're gonna see how many words we can get. And if I don't get any words, I have to take shots of the Manischewitz. Oh, you do. I do. So we have the we have the shot glass ready to go. Well, that's a horse. <laughs> <to make fun. laughs> I've never had this before. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. It's branded the, shot glass. Yeah, there. it's a branded shot glass. Are you kidding me? Do you know who I am? Can I get a napkin here? I got a quartz countertop. Which, if you do have a quartz countertop and you get a little wet napkin, you can actually clean some stuff off. Yay! All righty. So if I if I cannot get how many words are there? A lot. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Five? If I can't get these five words in one minute, I take the shot of um, Minashevitz. Right? Five words. Six. Okay, six. Six words, one minute. All right. Are we ready? Go. Potatoes. Lockies. Friends. Uh, enemies. Ross. Oh, uh, 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 David Schwimmer. Catherine. Shiksa. Roadkill. Armadillo. Holiday armadillo. Okay. Eight. Crazy nights. Nights. Hanukkah. Candles. Menorah. 
Come. I don't even know what this word is. Just say something. Word. Um, dreidel, Jewish, kala, yarmulke, uh, uh, the nanny, pass. <laughs> Hat. Yarmulke. Shot. Manischewitz. What's the other one? Hurry, hurry, how much time do I have left? Like less than 30 seconds. Shit. Oh. Come on. Um, sounds like, or something. It sounds like, can I have some help from production staff? No, they don't know either. Um, give me a synonym. Give me words like, sounds like, looks like, whatever, something. Five I don't seconds. Bubka. Bubka. Bubby? Lanka? Bubka. What was it? Shiksa. Shik Shik I don't know what that is. That's that's a, that's, I think I said Shiksa. Shiksa is a Gentile woman. He did not. You did not say it. Oh, my God, motherfucker. You just wanted me to drink this man. I really have no. I've never even... Okay, to be fair, is there another shot glass? I will take one with him because I didn't know what that word was, and I also just want to It's try like it. sweet. I just want to try it. Oh god, it's like sweet. You're gonna regret this decision tomorrow. It's like okay, it's like a it's like a horrid, like sugary, like you know the juice that comes out of your ass? It's like if grape juice was mixed with it. Well, I've never tasted the juice that comes out of my ass, you know. Well, it, it, try it. You'll, you'll see what I mean. You'll see what I mean. Cheers, kids. Yes. L'chaim. It's not that bad. It's too sugary. It's just, yeah. It, oh, it. oh, I lied. It, it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's the worst way to get diabetes no. ever. You don't, it, you don't want exactly, it that way. It's diabetes in a bottle. It's diabetes in a bottle, and it's not even a good way of getting at no. it, you know? Yeah. If I, if I was going to get diabetes, I'd want devil's school food cake or something All like that. All the little Debbies, exactly. Exactly. So, Michael, in the tradition of Fiddler on the Roof, because no good musical theater Jew cannot mention Fiddler on the Roof, you know, without it. Um, we are familiar with the bottle dance, right? So I've been giving, I've given you a hat and a bottle, and what you're going to do is you're going to place the hat on your head and walk forward as much as you can. Now you can't just stop; you have to continuously walk. All right. And out of all the eight people who've done it every single night, whoever does it the longest is going to win a special prize. And what's our longest time so far? 28 seconds. 28 seconds. Well, is that is fast. I know. Well, I figured, like, we, you know, the, all the drag stuff and the heels. Well, yeah, honestly, fun fact, in 1999, I was in a production of Fiddler on the Roof at Garland Summer Musicals, and I was a bottle dancer. Sure. I still have my bottle. Well, thank you, Bob Sure, This is your time now to use those <gasps> skills. Paul Moreland. Oh, with Paul Moreland. Girl, that was a long time ago. Yeah. All right. So, we ready for this one? Oh. You got your hat ready, like a little leprechaun you are. All right, we're ready. On your mark, get set. No. Okay. Okay. Go. Dun dun sha da da da. So one more, one more chance. Ready? No. I believe in you. Ready? I believe I can fly. I put a. Yeah, there's a tendon there or some shit like that. That's yeah. what I and. And we okay. can edit this down a little bit too. Okay, ready? Okay. And go. So now, yes, I have a wash of hands. What the hell do you think I'm doing with my hands? Yeah. All right. So this is the challenge, the Jewish challenge. We've got you dressed up like a nice kosher pickle, all right? I have some lovely pickles, some kosher pickles here. And we've got 10 seconds. And we are going to see how many pickles Michael can fit into his gaping mouth. I'm sit for this one. And I'm going to shove them in his mouth. So, this is for all the boys watching, too. You might get a new boyfriend out of this. Who knows, right? So, we're going we're gonna to do how, how many, <laughs> how many freaking pickles we can do within 10 seconds. We're just going to get a couple more. <laughs> just, just in case. Let's have oh. All right. So, we're going to time 10 seconds. All is right. Is there like a world record for this? I don't know. Is there, we, we, we can Google it. We can Google it. All right. So, you're going to say on your mark, get set, go. And I'm going to shove pickles in his mouth. <laughs> On your mark, get yes. set, 
Go! Yeah. Ah! <laughs> 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 you gotta step more in there. Oh! <laughs> okay, you're out of time. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was two, four, seven. Seven pickles in his <clears throat> mouth. So each pickle's like a couple inches. So, I mean, that's pretty good, Michael. Well, I mean, diameter wise, yeah. Uh -huh. That is pretty good. Those are your sweet pickles. Mm hmm. I forgot. I do like them. I'm usually used to a little more salty pickle when it's in my mouth, but I don't mind the sweet sometimes. Well, this person might be a vegetarian. You never know. So we're not going to put those back in, by the way. Well, mm -hmm. no, I would hope not. No, that'd be disgusting. All right, so now is the time when you get to pick your Hanukkah present. I will explain the rules of this one. So there are eight presents all behind me. In the rules of Hanukkah, when I was a kid, you have eight nights of Hanukkah, eight presents. Usually seven of those presents are pieces of shit. But the last one is a really fucking good present, all right? So one of these presents contains something extremely good, while the other seven is just kind of... So, you get to pick. Now, you don't get to look up and shake and smell or do nothing like that. No, girl, uh, that's not what the shit is about. Well, we get to shake presents. You don't get to shake no presents in Jew land. Well, that's okay. stupid. Well, then, don't be, I'm glad you're Christian. <laughs> so, because that ain't going to work on me. So, now, I want you to pick one through eight. Well, my lucky number is not in here. It's 14. So, let's divide 14 by 2 and take number 7. Number 7. Number seven. 7. What kind of present you get to open? <gasps> What's it going to be? I love people watching open presents. It's a, looks like a mug. You get, that says, other real estates and me. Agents and me. You know that's a re-gift, right? Oh, exactly. That's... So you get a mug. Yay! For all the coffee that I don't drink. Well, you can take it up to your work and you can drink out of that. I don't drink coffee. You put fucking vodka but in there. But I will there. put hot chocolate and some Baileys in it this there Christmas go. This holiday you season. That Sorry, one. this Hanukkah season. Wrong and it's a gay unicorn on there. Too. I can actually just cross out real estate agents with other hairstylists. You can definitely do actually, that. Actually, all hairstylists are like that. That's pretty much. Cool. Yeah, that's valid point. Yeah. Well, thank you. No, you're welcome, darling. Okay, so the reason why we light candles is because, you know, it was a Jewish miracle that during uh, their time they expected the oil to last one night, but it actually lasted eight nights oh. instead. So that's why there's eight nights of Hanukkah. So in celebration of that, I'm going to give you some oil that will last probably not eight nights, but eight minutes right here. And then you also want to make sure... Spare no expense. Not expensive. Oh, oh. Nine loo. No, not at all. And you also want to make sure that you have protection for that particular oil. If it's eight minutes, I'm going to need more than five condoms. There you go. All right. Thanks. So you're welcome. So now we're going to be lighting the candles here. Do we know what the middle one is called? No, and I should know this because I just heard it about a half hour ago, but you, no, I have no idea. It's called the Shamus. It's the middle candle. You might light the middle one first and you light from right to left the way we read in Hebrew. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to light the candles here and then I'm going to say the prayer slowly and you'll repeat afterwards and then we will celebrate the fifth Night of Hanukkah. Ready? Absolutely. All right, so we're going to light our shamis. Yay, thank you, modern technology. All right. Do you like my rainbow candles? It's like the gay menorah. It's, it's, I mean, it's, gay Jew, it's right? Uh, you got it. You got it's it. It's beautiful. Exactly. I mean, my menorah could just have, you know, Barbara Streisand's face on it and it'd be gayer. Yeah. But here we go. All right. Are we ready? Yes. All right. Repeat after me. Baruch Atah. Baruch Atah. Adonai Eloheinu. Adonai Eloheinu. Baruch Atah, Adonai Eloheinu. Asher. Wait, Baruch Atah. Asher. Hang on. Baruch Atah. Baruch Atah, Adonai Eloheinu. Baruch Atah. Adonai Eloheinu. Start over. Baruch Atah, Adonai Adonai Eloheinu. Adonai Eloheinu. Melech HaOlam. Melech HaOlam. Asher Kiddishanu. Asher Kiddishanu. Vamitzvotav. Vamitzvotav. Vitzivanu. Vitzivanu. Lahatnik. Lahatnik. Nel. Nel. Shel. Shel. Hanukkah. Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. I feel like you're just being names of singers. 
Cher, Byron, Cher, Byron, Byron Nell. Nell Carter, Nell Carter. Maybe. She actually converted to Judaism. Did she? Yes, before she died. Oh. So, thanks for tuning in, everyone, for the fifth night of Hanukkah. We appreciate you coming in. And, Mick, Michael, do you have anything to say? Thank you so much for having me on your little special show. It's been so much fun. Happy Hanukkah. And be sure to get your hair cut from Michael. Be sure to tune in tomorrow where we're going to have the sixth night of Hanukkah. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Bye. Bye-bye. Hanukkah game show, Hanukkah game show, Hanukkah game show, eat some luckies. It's the Hanukkah game show, Hanukkah game show, Hanukkah game show, call your puppy. Take pride in your real estate experience.